Hi, welcome to Natural Earth Paint. Today we're going to work on making natural, non-toxic, eco-friendly oil paint out of natural earth and mineral pigments. So to start off, I'm just going to show you the basics of mixing the paint. So first off, we're just going to use a little bit of uh, natural earth pigment. This is burnt sienna. Um, I'll be scooping it out onto a glass palette, which is one thing that you'll need to make your paint. Um, I usually get it from any type of local glass place that makes windows. You just get about a half inch thick, or no, sorry, quarter inch thick glass palette. And you probably want to ask them to grind the edges a little bit so it doesn't, it's not sharp. Um, and it's a perfect palette, easy to clean up and scrape paint off. So I'm just going to scoop out a mound of pigment. And then I make a little indentation in the top, kind of like a volcano. And then we get some refined walnut oil. And we use walnut oil instead of linseed oil because it's less yellowing. It's a, it's a better high quality oil. And um, over time it doesn't yellow and it dries a little bit slower than linseed oil. So I'm just going to pour a little bit in there and start to mix it up. And there's no exact recipe for how many teaspoons of pigment to teaspoons of oil because every pigment is completely different, has different qualities of absorbing liquid. And so you can't really say, for example, green pigment, natural earth green pigment takes a lot more, absorbs a lot more oil than this burnt sienna. So you would want to add a little bit more oil to that pigment. So you basically just see how it goes and you start mixing. You want to get a thick paste texture. And if you need more oil, you add more oil. And if you need more pigment, you add more pigment but you just add a little bit at a time. So you don't want to add too much and it gets too liquidy. Another option with mixing your paint is to use a glass muller, which is right here. This, some people use this to make sure that every single particle of pigment, of paint, is completely coated on all sides with oil. So if you want to make absolutely sure that it's completely mixed perfectly, you can use a glass muller. I sometimes simulate the glass muller with a palette knife by doing this. Um, and usually I just use a palette knife and not the glass muller, but it's completely up to each individual artist. So I'm going to do a tiny bit more oil. And there we have it. So we have a nice thick oil paint, which is just like any tubed paint that you would get in an art supply store, except it's very, very pure. So most tubes of paint that you get in an art supply store have fillers just to make more paint. They have uh, synthetic toxins and petroleum-based pigments and preservatives to increase the shelf life. There's lots of other ingredients that's not necessary. It's just put in tubes of paint to increase their shelf life in the store. But if you mix your own paint, it's just pure pigment and oil. So it's pretty much the most pure, radiant, archival, long lasting, durable paint that you can get. And it mixes much better when you mix colors. Color mixing is much easier and more pure and it's just a much more radiant paint. So once you've mixed up your oil paint and you have all of your colors, 
You can thin your paint with walnut oil to make it thinner. This is where I poured in my walnut oil. So you can just dip your brush in to your medium, your walnut oil, and dip it in here. You don't have to use that. For example, Rembrandt just made his paint, when he mixed his paint with pigment and oil, he just added more oil, so it was a more liquidy paint. So he didn't need to dip his brush in the thinner. Another way people thin their paint is by using solvents, turpentine or mineral spirits. And one of our products is EcoSolve, which is a completely natural, non-toxic paint thinner. And it's made from 100% soybeans. It can go right down the drain, completely non-toxic, but it behaves just like mineral spirits or solvents. So this is commonly used by people also to thin their paint. Also to clean your brushes and do a variety of other things, which will be in another video. We'll have step-by-step -step instructions on different ways to use this. And then when you're finished painting, you can uh, do a final clean of your brushes with the EcoSolve and then wash out your brushes with soap and water at the very end. So some of the products that we sell as a kit form to make your own natural earth oil paints are, is this kit right here, the Natural Earth Paint Complete Eco-Friendly Artist Oil Paint Kit. And it comes with 10 colors, 10 earth and mineral pigment colors, and they're all completely non-toxic, certified, very well tested and we have a bottle of walnut oil to mix them with to make the paint and a bottle of EcoSolve that comes with it. And also an Eco oil paint guide that gives you all of the information that I just said. And also uh, another oil paint kit is this one right here which is, has six colors but it's just more pigment and walnut oil so it's just a different type of kit but the same thing. And on our website, we have even more colors than this. We have additional colors that you can get um, on the website. Natural Gold Mica, which makes a really beautiful gold paint, and lots of other different colors. And we also have a color mixing guide so you can see how the, the colors mix and just the different hues and varieties you can get. So some of the reasons that you would want to use natural earth and mineral pigment paints are because the natural pigments themselves are irregular shapes. They are not all uniform like synthetic pigments. So when light hits the particles of pigment, it bounces off in all different directions and it creates a really luminous glow out of your painting and it's just a really nice radiance that you can't really get with synthetic pigments that are all uniform and it just hits the surface as it is. Um, another benefit is with the using the EcoSolve is that when you use natural uh, when you use solvents or any type of turpentine, they off gas into your house for years and years and years. So by using this you don't have off-gassing paintings in your house which is really great. Another benefit of the pigments is that they're the most archival, durable, long-lasting pigment on the planet basically. Um, there's just been a recent discovery of a cave, a Neanderthal cave in uh, the Netherlands which proves that people have been using natural earth pigments for 400,000 years old, at, for at least 400,000 years so it's pretty amazing that they can last that long um, they're completely resistant to UV to light to humidity um, they're super durable they don't crack so it's interesting that it's completely natural non-toxic ego-friendly you can wash it right down the drain 
It doesn't poison the water supply like conventional paints and solvents, but it's incredibly high quality, superior quality, very professional, and um, just a very pure paint. So thanks so much for coming to this tutorial and we'll have a lot more. So check out all of our videos and see you soon.